Spooktacular! Ooh. Ooh, get into it. Say it's spectacular. It's spectacular. Yeah. Kick him. Mm. Yeah. No, mine was the blue one that's sitting over there. Andrew's infatuated with his tail, it looks like. What is that? Look up. This is the problem with him. Bend your back and look. Never looks. What are you? I'm Mr. Royalty. Okay, you guys heard. He's Mr. Royalty and he's Gecko. You heard it. Are you ready to go? You got your mask? You ready to go? Yes? Okay. So oh, okay. I saw the hand just saying he's ready to go. You ready to go? Okay. Tell him dad he's ready to go. You gotta get your bucket too, okay? Oh, okay. you want to get your bucket? What are you going to say? Trick or treat? Yay! Uh, say trick or treat? Trick or treat. <laughs> oh, daddy, get them. Yeah. You're a gecko with your tail. We see you. Ooh. ooh. And we are off to the races. It's getting out dark out here, though. Okay. Did mm -hmm. Halloween fail? And the funny thing is, it's like you—you you don't even feel bad. Like I don't feel bad about it. I feel bad for Andrew because I like got him all dressed up. So we'll still walk him up to Grandma's door and get a get something just to say trick or treat. Um, but for the most part, we cool. This a bummer. This a fail. Epic fail. There is literally like nobody outside um it is still it is kind of dark um but there's like nobody trick-or-treating and clearly you're gonna tell me oh well duh it's covid like duh nobody's trick-or-treating but you would think like people would just have like their kids out or like because it's an outside activity is what i'm saying like trick-or-treating is an outside activity so even if you had just like candy, but I guess people, now that I think about it, like multiple hands inside a candy bowl, if you set it outside, and then just random people kind of walking up to your door, that's a little, you know, COVID-y. So I can, I can see the rationale behind it, but I literally really thought like somebody would just be out either walking with a costume on, but there's no one out here like that. And we're on 8th Street though. And 8th Street in DC is normally packed like this night. But literally, no one out. We weren't taking Andrew down um, 8th Street. We were gonna take him actually. We're on our way to Grandma's house. Grandmother. Get your juice. Oh yes, thank you. Look what I got. I love these. Wow. Say thank you. I got Nutri Grain bars and juice. Two of his favorite things. And here go Andrew trying to show off his shoes. You gonna need to. You got juice. He put one in his uh in his thing already. Mm -hmm. Doritos. Ooh, that's your favorite. Um, it should be in the bag. If not, I'll grab it out the car. It's Kobe's drink. Probably what you call. You want the cup? How you know? I know. We walked out and Kobe bought a 
Miss Rosa, do you have a cup here though? If you okay. I'll go get the cup. We always get goodies at grandma's house. And Andrew loves being over here. Like absolutely adores it. Loves it. Alright, let's cup. Our Andrew's cup. Right here. She always has his stuff ready to go. It's so funny. Andrew should not be having little sippies anymore. But he will not give them up. So if anyone has any advice on how to get rid of the sippy. Yo, I'm all the way down. Because this has been one of my hardest struggles. Is um, getting rid of this sippy cup. He won't. I'll did what my sisters gave advice on to just leave out a little cup of um, cup of drink whether it's water or whatever your kid prefers not in a cup like this like a regular kid cup but just a very little and you know he'll cry let him cry let him cry let him cry but Andrew is so stubborn to the point like he will not drink it at all at all so he won't even touch the cup there was one time he went like all afternoon and never even touched the cup like and that was the only thing he had to drink he kept trying to find these cups and then running around trying to give them to like me or his dad but he literally just like did not drink anything and it's like to the point where it's like hmm now I don't want to become abusive but I do want to help him break a habit and I know that it's going to take a lot of tough love for him to break that habit so I was wrong I'm in the wrong straight up because I shouldn't have never even given him given into that but it's hard for me to break it so if you have any advice on how to break kids out of these sippies please comment below let me know um because that's important uh that's something a struggle that i've been having for almost a year now probably it's just like his preference of drink and he i've seen him drink like he'll drink out of my cup um he drank out of straws but now it's just like this whole rant like uh, what's not like three months ago when it was this whole like protest against drinking out of straws drinking out of cups like I'm just not doing it I just prefer my cup so help a sister out if you got any um, hints, tidbits advice for me